But first, a food service worker at Comerica Park arrested after a stomach turning video went viral. You saw that video first on seven. Now we're learning more about it from the coworker who pushed the record button. He told seven action news reporter Bethany Moore what happened when he sounded the alarm and why this may not be an isolated incident. You're right, that former employee has been arrested and the other employee that took the video says he was just trying to warn others. Quinnell May says when he heard what the other employee said he was going to do to the pizza on Friday, he was in shock. And I asked him, was he serious about that? Like, was he really going to spend the customer pizza? And he said, yeah. So I put on my phone to have proof just in case he did it. May said he tried to report it to his manager, but wasn't heard. So I went home and I posted the video to show people what was going on because they obviously didn't want to listen. I was going to stay after to go down and speak to the HR to not cause a scene in the stand, but they didn't want to listen to me. That video went viral on Facebook and Instagram. In a statement, Detroit Sports Service, the food and beverage providers at Comerica Park said they closed that food stand when they found out and got rid of the tampered with food. But May says that that employee says he's spit in the food before. He said he's done it before and he's been working there for three years or two or whatever he said. So it's no telling how many people probably looked over it. And I was just that one person to catch it and film it and turn it in. But May says even though he was trying to do the right thing, he was fired over the phone for posting the video. And you can see in this text message with his supervisor at the park, he was asked to take the video down. I'm disgusted at him for spending a pizza, and I'm also disgusted at Comerica Park for threatening to sue me for posting a video and exposing it when they should be worried about him spitting in the pizza. But Detroit Sports Service say he wasn't fired but has been suspended, and that, quote, no one acting in an official work capacity asked him to remove the video. The prosecutor's office is still reviewing the case for possible charges. Bethany Morse, 7 Action News. All right, Bethany, thank you for the update. We're